All right, uh, welcome to everyone. It's been a while since we've done one of these uh, Facebook Live. Um, we've been busy. Yeah. <laughs> we've been busy, but it's all good. So a little bit of housekeeping and of course introductions uh, in case you guys forgot. My name is Crystal Rivera and this is my lovely father, Angel. <laughs> Um, the co-owners of uh, Puerto Rico Distillery. Uh, we've been through a lot since we first opened and a couple updates um, COVID wise, uh, we have uh, decided and announced, but this is just a reminder that the tasting room is temporarily closed as we operate um, curbside uh, orders uh, until things look a little better, um, but we're just, you know, playing it safe for a family business. So that's how we do. For our safety and for yours. And, and what that means is that you can actually come in and pick up your order uh, and you can come in and order. What we're not doing are actual sitting down and actually doing tastings that take more time and require more more contact uh, um, just for the, for the sake of safety. Right. Uh, unless, of course, you are a founder. Reminders that founders do uh, can continue to do tastings by reservation. So, um, you know, we look out for, for you guys. Yep. Um, so aside from that, um, schedule wise update on the farmers markets. Yep. So we had two farmers markets that we were uh, participating in. Uh, one was in Ellicott city that, uh, ended, I think like two weeks ago, uh, this last Saturday, yesterday was our last day at the, uh, field fresh farmers market in, uh, Frederick right here, about a mile from the distillery. Um, so we're done with the farmers markets. We will go back next year. Uh, we expect to do those and maybe some more when you know COVID is is is, is done and whatnot. But uh, so we just want to remind you of that we are at the distillery. Uh, you can find us here. Um, also, we are at the Coast Guard Exchange at the Centerville. So for those folks over on the Virginia side, um, and also we're very excited about uh, 818 Market uh, at Catonsville. Um, they, they ordered our product and it's been flying off the shelf. We're getting ready to do another delivery, um, uh, uh, this week, most likely. Um, and they are open 365 days a year from six in the morning to 10 at night. So really, uh, the DMV, uh, has no excuse to say that they don't have Pitoro at their party because even if we're closed, you can always go to 818 and pick it up. So we're very happy about that. Yep. As usual, for the latest updates, be sure to find us uh, at our website, PuertoRicoDistillery.com, um, social media. Uh, you found us if you're uh, watching this, but you know you can find us on YouTube, uh, Facebook, Instagram, uh, all that good stuff. Uh, other updates um, on seasonal releases, coconut chai is coming up very soon. Um, it's it's, it's coming along very nicely. Yeah, so this December, uh, early, we're really only waiting on um, bottles at this point. Mm -hmm. So uh, we've been sampling and it's, it's, it's coming along very nicely. Uh, so that is uh, coming up. What else do we have? Um, so we have uh, blending kits. We have uh, Pitoro blending kits. We realized that we could get to all the flavors that people are asking us um, about. So we uh, put together a blending kit. We actually had released, some of you that might've seen that we released something um, and then we got some really good feedback from, from a lot of people uh, asking us to see if we can tailor it a little bit for some people that didn't want everything that we were including in there. I, we thought that was a brilliant idea. Um, so we will be releasing probably maybe today or tomorrow, very soon, uh, what the new uh, kits are. They will include uh, papaya, pineapple, mango, um, and kiwi, and we have some exciting things about, you know, you, you get, uh, you get uh, four packets of the, of the fruit, um, if you want just the one flavor or you can combine if you want pineapple with kiwi or mango with papaya. So, so that's kind of what we're working on and we'll be releasing that either today or tomorrow. Yeah, don't forget if you want to get the creative juices flowing, you can always go to YouTube or our Facebook uh, live uh, past videos to get some ideas of, you know, things that we've done uh, to kind of show extract, concentrate, you know, fresh fruits, different things that you can play with. So check that out. And, and we have more releases. Yes. So pineapple, um, we've already had some people uh, doing pre-orders for pineapple, which is coming soon. Um, and that one is, uh, you know, we just want to like smooth it out a little bit, uh, mm -hmm. but that is coming in December. Yep. Yep. Perfect. Okay. So I think those are all the updates that we have for you guys. We are mm -hmm. very excited to introduce We've gotten a lot of questions about Coquito. It is the season. Uh, yeah, it is the season. Um, we do have cocktails. Coquito is a lot more complicated. 
Um, it's easy if you know how to do it, but it's complicated for us to do in, uh, in scale to, to meet uh, all the demand. So what we decided to do was, was go find out some really smart people that have some really awesome recipes um, and share those recipes with you. Um, they, they got some Latino uh, bottles. They, they tested the recipe. They're gonna give you exactly what you need uh, in order to make some wonderful coquito uh, with our clandestino, our classic clandestino and some variations. So you can use some of the other almond um, and some other things. I don't wanna give away too many other secrets. But here we are bringing them. We have Mela, uh, who you've seen in past videos, um, uh, a resident expert and a scientist uh, in all things uh, technical. Uh, and we have Desi, so we're gonna take a, a back, um, you know, uh, go backstage and leave it to these artists. All right, thank you guys. Enjoy. Thank, you. thank you. Hello, everyone. We're very excited right here. Let me change my view. We're very excited to be here with you guys and to have you here. Um, so today, we're gonna share something that's very special, unique to um, Puerto Rico and, and us Puerto Rican, our identity, especially in the holidays. So we're now in the holiday season um, and Coquito. Coquito is one of the things that we do best and we enjoy through the holidays. So um, what we're gonna do um, today, uh, you're gonna see, um, one of my, I wouldn't say, not only best friend, sister, um, we, we've had so many experiences together. Our <laughs> friendship goes back to over 20 years. Yes. Desiree Velasquez. Um, she has an amazing coquito recipe that she would like to share with you guys. So I want to introduce to you Desiree. Hi, Desi, how are you? Hi, Melanie, how are you? Good. Are you ready for to show us your your coquito recipe? Yes, I am ready. I'm excited to share this awesome recipe with everybody. Awesome, awesome. Um, so we go back how long? Over twenty years of friendship. I would say I don't want to say how many years because <laughs> that's going to give out how, give out how old we are. So you know. <laughs> So yeah, but we've been friends over over 20 plus years. That's correct. Mm -hmm. yes. We met in high school in a um, chemistry class, right? I do remember yeah. that day like it was yesterday. Um, <clears throat> so Desi, Desi, I've, since, I've, I, since I've known Desi um, through the holidays in Puerto Rico, uh, she would always invite me to her house and she would share this amazing coquito. And I just, I, I literally, when, when Angel and Cristal were talking about um, coquito recipes and, 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 and talking about who, if I knew someone, I automatically thought about you because your, your coquito is amazing. And mm -hmm. so um, <clears throat> I wanted to ask you, like, what, what is coquito? What is it? For those folks, uh, obviously us Puerto Rican that are familiar with coquito, we know what it is, but we also have a lot of people that don't know and that have tried it and they love it. So, yeah, so coquito is um, the holiday drink for us Puerto Ricans. So it's uh, our staple drink for the holiday season. Um, just a little bit of history about coquito. There's a couple of theories of where Coquito comes from. Um, some people like they don't know, like somebody came up with the recipe and nobody knows who, who he or she was. Uh, but there's other theories that say that Coquito came into the Caribbean when the, Spani when the Spanish people were colonizing the Caribbean. They brought with them their eggnog recipe, the Spanish eggnog. So, while they were visiting, you know, different islands in the Car in the Caribbean, um, they started infusing their um, Spanish eggnog with different type of rums. So that's how that's one of the theories of how coquito came into Puerto Rico. So of course, when it came to Puerto Rico, they started blending their eggnog with a local rum, and that's how that's one of the theories of how the traditional uh, uh, Puerto Rican coquito came about. Of course. You can see coquito in different parts of the Caribbean. 
Um, it's always, it's, oh, you're going to see different, um, mixed with different spices, infused with different uh, types of liquor. But ours is made with our local rum. So I um, got introduced. A Pai Coquito, of course, I'm Puerto Rican, that's our staple um, drink, but um, the recipe that I use is a family recipe. Uh, it's a recipe that was passed down by my aunt Miriam, my Titi Miriam. I don't know if you're watching, but hi, Titi. Uh, so it's a special recipe um, that we do a little bit different, um, and it has been a staple of like our holiday seasons throughout the years. So I've made it a point of every year to make coquito um, for my friends, my families, and also for those that want to also um, buy it and um, just take it just as a gift for their family members. Awesome. Yeah, I do remember in Canoana, Puerto Rico, yes. when you guys closed down the, the street for those yes. holiday parties, those <laughs> were the best. And Titi Miriam, Titi Miriam had a really nice gift. She was really popular. I think yes. she still is. She, is she mm -hmm. still making coquito? She New York. Coquito. Yeah, she's living right now in Long Island. So for all those that are in the Long Island area in New York, if you're looking for Coquito in the area, let me know and I'll hook you up because that's the best. That her, I'm using her recipe. She's passed it down to me. So that's the best Coquito you, that you can have in the Long Island area. So yeah, so she does still make Coquito and she makes an awesome plan too, so. <laughs> awesome, yeah, I remember she was she was on fire, yeah. on fire. People were like ordering, ordering, and I, I just loved it. Um, it. It has this unique taste to it. And you know, like every, I always make this comparison when, when I go to Puerto Rico, I'm in love with this bizcocho de novia, which is like a direct translation, like a um, bright cake. Yeah. Um, and it, it's just a plain vanilla cake with um, vanilla frosting and confetti, but I go through a tour, a bakery tour around the island to try every single bicocho de novia because they all have their uniqueness. Yes. They're different. Everyone gives their own twist. Yes. So and I know. Yep. Yeah, go ahead. That's the best thing about the coquito that I can have my own recipe, but you can taste it. It can taste differently in different parts of the, of the island because everybody has their own twist. Uh, to make it a little bit tastier, a little bit, a little more sweeter, a little bit stronger. So that's the best thing about the coquito. You, it's never boring. Doesn't matter where you go in different parts of the island, you're gonna get a different type of coquito. And it's gonna be as delicious as the previous one that you tasted. Yeah. So um, my my mouth it's watering down. Um, let's get to the nitty gritty of what we're yeah. gonna be showing today. Which Desi has staged. Um, she she has a pre made coquito that she made um, yesterday. She also has all the ingredients. But because most of us are visual learners, and yeah. also if you are um, gonna watch this video not live because we're going to leave it on our PRD page, you're going to be able to replay it and you're going to see this making the coquito. So please um, go through the main ingredients of coquito. So the main ingredients to make a delicious coquito, you're going to need evaporated milk, leche evaporada, and you can use, you can pick your own brand, um, know that there's different brands, but you choose the brand of your choosing, that's, that's totally fine. Um, and you're going to also need condensed milk. Condensed milk, again, you can use the brand of your choosing. And you're also going to need cream of coconut. So this is the most important piece of the whole coquito. Oh, other than the, the rum, of course. <laughs> Uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm quiet here. I'm quiet. I'm letting you talk. <laughs> so, but the um, but you're gonna uh, you're gonna need uh, cream of coconut. You're of course you're gonna need rum, and you can add your own spices. Uh, you can add uh, vanilla. You can add cinnamon. You can add nutmeg. But the main ingredients are gonna be uh, condensed milk, cream of coconut, and evaporated milk. Those are the base. To starting off your coquito. The amount, awesome. yeah, and the amounts will vary depending on how much you want to make. So for this showing today, this is going to yield about five, about five to four uh, 
750 milliliter bottles of Coquito, but of course, uh, you can, you, the amounts will be depending on how much you're going to make. Okay, so for for our um, audience, this is the our clandestino bottle. It's seven hundred and fifty milliliters. So this will make the recipe that Desi is sharing will make one of these bottles. Yes. Yes. Awesome. All right. So um, what is the process? Show us. Okay. Show us what 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 do you do? Like when you're making that coquito, while you have your music on and the. In the background, you know. <laughs> so the first thing that you're gonna need to make a coquito, you're gonna need a shallow um bowl. Uh, so you can have somewhere to mix all of the ingredients. Oh, another thing that I was gonna say, um, some people do use egg in their coquito, same with the traditional eggnog, because eggnog is made out of coquito, um uh, coquitos made. The eggnog, I'm sorry, eggnog is made with eggs, but mm -hmm. I, it's my preference. I don't use eggs in my coquito. Um, that is just my preference and part of our recipe. Uh, so you can use eggs in your recipe. That's totally up to you. I just don't like a lot the taste that the egg brings into the coquito. So just to make that disclaimer, because some people might say, oh, I taste the coquito, but you're, they put egg in it. So yeah, some coquito recipes do have egg. Mine spe and specifically those doesn't have any eggs in it. Yeah, and also like having that dairy product in, like the yeah. eggs, um, you have to be careful with the um, with the time that exactly. it, it it will be consumable, right? Exactly. Okay, good, good to know. Thank you so much. Yeah. So for this recipe, I'm gonna use four cans of evaporated milk, and I'm gonna put it in my shallow bowl. So there's one. You have two. three and four, and then you're just gonna give it a, uh, a little mix. Mm -hmm. I saw in there you use two different brands. So if, if, so, is, is that a trick? Or? I usually use one same brand. I just ran out of one of the other brands, so I had okay, to improvise. Cool. So you can use one, one same brand, it doesn't matter. Okay, yeah. I didn't want to throw you under the bus. I just, if it, was, if it was something special that you do that it does make a difference in the recipe, then I wanted to share with our audience as well. So I'll, thank you. Yeah, for so you can use the, the brand of your choosing. I just ran out of one, so I had to improvise with the other one. Um, and now um, then you're going to mix your evaporated milk. You're going to mix in four cans of condensed milk. And when making coquito, this is one of the things, the ingredients that's going to give it, you know, that, um, that sweetness to your coquito. So if you want to cut down in the sweetness a little bit, you can use three cans of coquito, especially with the pitorro. With the pitorro, tends, it's, it's a sweeter rum. So if you want to highlight a little bit more the taste of the of the pitorro, you can take down one of the cans of um of condensed milk. When you do your regular pitorro with regular rum, uh, I'm sorry, when you do your regular coquito with regular rum, I usually use four cans of condensed milk. But in this case, because uh, like I said, pitorro tends to be a little bit sweeter than regular rum, I'm going, to, I'm going to cut down in one of the cans of condensed milk and just put in three. Great. Thank you so much for that tip. And along alongside that, you know me, I am a chemist. I love I, I love what we do here at PRD. So just a little bit for those folks that like the science behind it. Um, so basically, <clears throat> the pitorro has a very high alcohol volume and, and that it's definitely in purpose to um, stick uh, to bring in pitorro's uniqueness identity of the sugar melaza. So when Desi's saying that pitorro tends to be a little bit sweeter, you do have in your taste buds that um, melaza sweetness to it that distinct from regular white rum, like yeah, other popular rum. Right. So you're, you're, you're the chemist here. She, she, she just summarized what I wanted to say because she knows me. I'm not good at chemistry, so <laughs> Look, but I'm, I'm mixing the ingredients. <laughs> I do remember when we met. You were using a pen, ink pen, yeah. to do um or to write up organic um equations, 
uh, formulas in the notebook. So she would always ask me for a whiteout all the time. Mm -hmm. And I got so annoyed that I came to a point where I just said, you know what, just keep the whiteout. Just keep it because she would be she would ask several times during class. Um, can I borrow it? It was, it, was, it, was, it was just it was it was just it was all planned. So you could be my friend. <laughs> I get it. I get it. <laughs> 20 year plus years after we're here sharing exactly. very coquito, um, your coquito recipe and me working for PRD and what yes. I love. Yes, yes. Um, all okay. right. So I just mixed in the condensed milk um, and I'm just going to mix it up. So you got to, you want to give it a, a good mix. You can use an electric mixer if you want, if you want to blend in all the ingredients. I prefer to use a hand mixer um, just so I can, you know, I don't know if it's a feel like the texture, but I like to see, you know, how the ingredients are coming together. And I think it's easier for me if I do it with a hand mixer. Okay. Awesome. So Okay, so, so right now for recaps for those folks that had that just join us, we're doing coquito recipe and Desi is has actually poured um, four cans of evaporated milk, right? Yes, four cans of evaporated milk. And in this case, because I'm making the, pito, uh, the coquito with pitorro, I'm using, I'm only using three cans of condensed milk. If you use, um, if you don't have pitorro at your house and you want to try it out with regular rum, then you can use four cans of condensed milk, but I'm only using three right now. Okay, but everyone should have. Should, everybody should have. Everybody should have one. If there you don't is have one, there's no absolutely excuse. no excuse. No excuse. Okay, <laughs> we all want to have clandestino. If you don't, we have, um, you can buy purchase online, curbside pickup, or at 1818 Market in Catonsville, Maryland. But there's no excuse to wave your, coqui your coquito without pitorro. There's no excuse this holiday season. I'm sorry, Desi. I just had to put it out there. That's sorry. fine. That's fine. You're fine. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now the next step is to put in the cream of coconut. So again, I like the more Hispanic brands for the cream of coconut. Um, so you can use uh, any Hispanic brand of your choosing. So you're gonna mix in into your, uh, the, your mix of condensed and evaporated milk. You're gonna uh, mix in now your cream of coconut. Awesome. That looks delicious. Yes. <laughs> it is important, right? To scrape um, everything that's left off with, especially with the cream of coconut, because sometimes it tends to be yeah. like dependent on the temperature that has been set, right? Yes. Yeah. So you have to make sure that if, you know you pour in everything that is in the the can, and the can is then empty once you um, pour it in. Let me ask you a question. So why is it important to, especially with the cream of coconut, to make sure that you scrape all the cream from from the from the bottle? What what that does to the consistency of the of the coquito? That's gonna help the coquito be more creamy. It's gonna help the to make the coquito more creamy. That creaminess of the coquito, that's what the cream of coconut is going to do. Uh, so you okay. want to make sure that you get everything from your can. And awesome. Then, and then you go start mixing it. So you gotta give it a, a good mix. So you blend all the ingredients. Again, if you want to use an electric mixer, you can go ahead and use an electric mixer. I just prefer to use a hand mixer. Okay. So at this point, you have your base done for your coquito. Um, here at this point, some things that you can do, you can start mixing um, some vanilla if you want to, or putting in spices, or putting the rum first and then the spices. But I'm gonna put the rum first, because this is the best part of making the coquito, putting it in the rum. Um, in regards to the amount of rum, it's going to be totally up to you, depending on how strong you want it. Some people like their coquito really strong or just strong enough or not that strong. So I would say, you know, play around with the, um, with, with the rum and just try, start mixing it in. And this is the best part because you get to taste it while you're mixing it. So in this case, I'm going to- That's my type of jam. Yeah. <laughs> 
For this recipe, I'm gonna use a whole bottle of clandestino. Okay, so what a beautiful bottle. So you let me see the front. Let me see the front of it. Look at that oh. bottle. It's so sexy. Right. Look at that. <laughs> so beautiful. Okay, so you start pouring it in. And again, it's gonna depend on how strong you want it. Um, I like mine strong enough. So um, you know, pour it all in. Okay, so for this recipe, you took one whole bottle of clandestino. Yes. With four, four cans of um, evaporated milk. Yes. Three cans of condensed milk. Exactly. And two cans, and then, of, two cans of cream of coconut. Two cream coconut. Okay. Okay. And for those folks, um, we're going to have, we're going to save this video in our PRD Facebook um, page. Um, Puerto Rico Distillery Facebook page. And also we'll make sure that um, we'll post um, the, the amount uh, that she, she used for this recipe in, in the post that we'll do after the live, okay? So don't worry, you can always go back to this video and you'll have a summary typed in uh, yes. as well, okay? Um, at this point, you can also add cinnamon to it. So I'm going to, I'm just going to add two teaspoons of cinnamon. And you can add more if you will, if you like later on. And I usually use um, vanilla for my coquito. In this case, I'm just going to infuse it a little bit different and I'm going to put in two tablespoons of almond extract. Nice. And again, you can mix and mash. You can use whatever, um, spices you want you can add ginger to it you can add nutmeg to it so just the, the good thing about making coquitos you can be creative in regards to the spices that you can blend in exactly we love creativity around here and for those folks um um for for our audience if you make coquito we want to encourage you to take pictures of your coquito um and and you know a nice picture of them and share them with us tag puerto rico distillery in instagram facebook um because we love sharing um our customers uh recipes and what they play around with um and if you come up with a uh, a different flavor recipe of poquito as well then please take pictures send us pictures tag puerto rico distillery um because we love sharing those in our story Yes, um, and then uh, like, like Melanie said, my recipe has been passed down as a family recipe. So I'm gonna add a secret ingredient. Sorry, I can't tell you if you, if you wanna taste it, you gotta give me, you know, give me a call. Um, but I'm just gonna add to this one, the special ingredient, and this is just based on a family recipe. I'm there you go, one. that's the good stuff that's there. The that's the good. <laughs> this is what makes it, um, this is what elevates the, the coquito and the pitorro in the mix. So once you mix all of these, those ingredients together, um, you're good. Uh, if you're using vanilla, you can use um, up to three tablespoons of vanilla, but again, it's totally up to you and you can, and can always infuse it with other spices, okay? So now this is, this is now your completed mix of the coquito. And again, this is going to come out to about five bottles of, um, of this um, this size, five bottles nice. of and you can, you know, uh, make it as a gift for your family and everything. Nice. So you did mention um, about contacting you. So um, if if you want more information on, on Coquito itself, we're going to tag Desiree um, and, and definitely direct message her and she'll give you more information on it, okay? Yes. Okay. So I just want to show you the consistency of this completed coquito. <clears throat> and then I'm going to show you how um, it looks after um, it's set for a day or so. It's going to look creamier. So right now. Okay. Yeah. I love, I love it because you know me very well. I yeah. love comparing different um, like process. This is chemistry. Cooking is chemistry. So, so it is very good to know how it would look just so made. Little, yeah, so it's a little bit more runny because all the all the ingredients haven't set all together. 
So if you see that it's a little bit runny, don't worry. Um, this is going to, once uh, your poquito sets, it's going to look creamier. Okay. Question to you, for how long do you let it set in the fridge? Overnight, overnight. And I prefer to have my coquito chilled. Um, that's how we usually uh, serve it uh, during the holiday season. It's a little bit chilled, um, not a room temperature. I prefer it chilled, but you know, it's, it's your preference, but you can leave it overnight to set. Mm -hmm. And not only it, the fact that it has um, milk products in yes. it, you, you want to refrigerate that product. Yes, definitely. You know, you don't want to leave it room temperature and then potentially consuming something that's not in good state, right? Exactly, exactly. Okay. So, um, so this coquito that I have here in this bottle has already set. I, okay. just, I made it uh, a couple of days ago. I'm just gonna open it up. If I can open it. Yep. Okay. And before opening opening the bottle, just give it a quick shake. Mm -hmm. Like I said, it's gonna be a little bit creamier. And then. Ooh, that's creamy, sexy, love it. It's a little bit creamier. Hey, Leslie, can I come over? Come over at oh, least. This, this is for you. <laughs> I'll probably have my mask on and have like a little hole here to just sip on your coquito. But uh, I come on over, come on over. <laughs> and then you can also no. decorate it with a little bit of with some cinnamon sticks. You can put one in and just then afterwards, just give it a dash of cinnamon. It looks pretty. Nice. You have your coquito ready. Oh, I love it so much. I want to drink it. I'm jealous. You have coquito. And I actually, I probably have some here. Um, I just didn't stage it, so I don't want to leave the camera. Um, but I'll definitely have a, a shot of coquito right after this live. So quick question. When you bottle the coquito, what do you recommend? Do you recommend people bottling up all the way to the top? Or you recommend them leaving some space? Yeah, I do recommend that you leave some space because you want you we are going to want to shake your coquito after it has been um, in the fridge for some time. Uh, the cinnamon can stick to the top, so you want to make do it like give it a quick a quick shake. So you're gonna need a little bit of space uh, and not fill it up all the way to the top. Exactly. Good. Um. So, real quick, a recap. Your recipe, Re recap in the amounts and of, of each ingredient and also how much does that whole recipe that you did right now um, will give you, like how many bottles would it give you? Yeah, so to recap, I used four cans of evaporated milk and this is the recipe with the pitorro, or clandestino, four cans of evaporated milk three cans of condensed milk, two cans of cream of coconut, one bottle yeah. of grandestino poquito. Yes, I uh, just got my coquito shot. Oh, Yay! Gracias, Cristian. Yeah. Uh, you're going to need one bottle of clandestino um, pitorro. And the good thing about our family from Puerto Rico Distillery, and they have different uh, pitorro with different infusions. So you can go crazy experimenting doing your coquito. You can do it with the almond. And there's a coconut, there's coffee. So you can go, you know, you can play around and then use cinnamon and vanilla or almond extra to your, you know, uh, to your choosing, however you want to, you know, you like it. I love it. I love it. So real quick, um, before we leave you guys, uh, I do have some questions for you okay. in terms of, and also I want, I always like to trigger people's creativity and what they come up with. So have you heard about doing coquito? Um, like for instance, I played around with the almond pitorro, clandestino almond pitorro. It is delicious. Um, and I did some coquito with this pitorro to give that almondy flavor. Uh, flavor, I'm sorry. And I used uh, almond ice cream. Yeah. Also in my mix. So have you, is that common? 
Yes, it is very common to use different type of ice cream just to give it another a different taste. So you can use almond ice cream and you can also use pistachio. Um, there's a lot of people in Puerto Rico that they do coquito with pistachio ice cream. Uh, you can also go crazy and use Nutella. If you want Nutella, coquito with Nutella, that tastes delicious too. And of course, like Melanie said, uh, you can also use uh, pitorro infused with almond so you can make your coquito. So you can blend it with different, um, you know, pistachio ice cream, almond ice cream, chocolate ice cream. So it, it, it gives you the opportunity to be creative. Yep, I love I love experimenting. So I did with the almond, like I said, and I also um, tried um, coffee flavor um, coquito with our coffee um, pitorro, mm -hmm. and it was so 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 good. Um, I also used um, a a little bit of coffee flavored ice cream. Now there is something to be said if you use the ice cream note that having adding ice cream to it you're adding more dairy products so the um the life period um of of the of your coquito shortens right it's yes. it, it will probably go bad faster than the regular pitorro with rum mm -hmm. okay now if if you have like a virgin coquito because some people do like virgin coquitos um does it, it does, does it different also the the amount of time uh and then, then we'll um i guess my question is based on what you add to the co to the coquito the the period of lasting uh in a good state does it is does it differ yes for me with the rum it's gonna um last a little bit longer than if you use uh, if you do a version one. So coquito with rum, uh, it's, it's going to be good for up to four weeks uh, or even more. Uh, so you got to be mindful, like if you're not making it with rum or with any type of alcohol, um, it might, you know, you might have to use it in a shorter period, period of time. Correct. Mm -hmm. Correct. And the science behind it is that alcohol, I mean, it, it, Te preserva todo. Exactly. Yeah. It, so it won't it won't go bad as fast yeah. yes. as as um, it is without rum. Or if you do have a coquito with rum with clandestino rum, and you pour your recipe ice cream, then you know that it that will last less time than the one that is just with rum because you're adding more dairy product to it. Yes. So just keep that in mind and always keep in mind to be um, to have your product refrigerated. Yes. Very important, Very right? Important. Yes. Um, one last question. Have you played around with your coquito recipe in infusing them in other things? Like for, for example, um, desserts. I know you are a huge fan of crudi vegano, which is mm -hmm. um, raw vegan desserts. Mm -hmm. And I know that you have been into making popsicles, for instance. Yeah, so um, so this is not 100%, of course, this is not a vegan, but you can always replace uh, the milk-based uh, components of the coquito for your vegan options. So that's, a, that's something to keep in mind. For example, this right here is coconut condensed milk, no dairy in it. So that's what can be one of the, your substitutes when making vegan coquito, a uh, vegan, uh, yeah, vegan coquito. And um, so, yeah, so you can get creative and you can actually prepare your coquito and use popsicle molds, pour in the, uh, the mix into the popsicles, and then you can have a popsicle coquito. So that's something that you can actually have anytime at the end of the year. So you don't have to wait until the holiday seasons. If you want a good treat, you can make your coquito recipe and then you can pour it in the popsicle molds. Another thing that you can also do is that if you bake a cake or bake brownies, you can do like a drench of the cake and the brownies. Mm. And that's going to be like the, that sponge is going to soak up all those like um, of the alcohol and the sweetness. And believe me, it tastes really, really, really good. I love it. I love it. I love it. So 
this is just a teaser for all of you um, experimenters out there, Puerto Rico Distillery followers. So um, we encourage you to go out there and experiment. There's no right or wrong. Um, <clears throat> there's no um, big discoveries are through experiment experimentation. So go for it. Yeah. Remember, our clandestino products are 100% proof, 50% um, alcohol volume. They are amazing. This is the classic one non-flavored that Desiree used in her recipe, but we also have four different flavors in. We have the traditional one, which is on his father's recipe, um, prunes, cranberries, and um, raisins. We have our coffee flavor, which we use a coffee that is toasted and grated and packed in Manati, Puerto Rico, called it's El delicious. Cafecito. It's delicious. It is so good. It is delicious. so good. I have played around a lot with the coffee one, even like having a shot and adding like a hazelnut creamer in it. It is delicious. Then we have our coconut one, coconut flavor one. Um, this is super delicious as well. And you can also use this to make coquito. That's I mean, coconut, coconut over yeah. coconut. Coconut to the square, that sounds amazing, right? You can right? never go wrong with coconut, so. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> and then, of course, we have our popular almond one that you can also play around not only with coquito, desserts. Um, Albita did a great mix with um, a, a warm apple cider and a splash of this, and it was amazing. Nice. So our products are very, very versatile, um, and, and you can play around with them. We encourage you. Um, we have our online store, Puerto Rico Distillery. Um, make your orders in. We're in the holiday season. We want you to um, celebrate with your loved ones with good pitorro. Um, and also, I would be remiss if I don't mention this, we have our blending, blending kits. So basically, a bottle of the classic um, Pitorro Clandestino. And then we have our blending bottle and you get to play around. You get to have some fun. So we have our dry fruits, kiwi, papaya, mango, and pineapple. And you can get your blending kits with us at Puerto Rico Distillery online. Um, we're doing curbside pickup. Um, yesterday we had a great day here with um, Chef Raul Santos. So um, thank you, um, Chef Raul Santos, for always um, working with us and everyone that came in. We truly appreciate um, not only your business but your company um, with us. So um, I would just want to thank you for um, tuning in. Thank you, Desire, for for being um, the great. Um, Poquito master and share <laughs> your tricks with us. All yes. right. Thank you. Thank you all. Thank you for the uh, to the Puerto Rico Distillery family for giving me this opportunity to share the coquito recipe. Um, and I look forward to many other um, coquito series. <laughs> yes. Awesome. Thank, thank you. you so much. Yes. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye and thank you, all. ladies, for thank dropping you, wisdom you, pearls you, all day. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Salud. Salud. I'm going to go get my coquito. Wait a minute. <laughs> mm. So good. So good. Oh my God. <laughs> it is delicious. So good. Salud. Gracias, Desi. Gracias, Mela. Gracias, Gracias. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in. And, and did you guys already mention how to find um, Desi and, and, and Mela? Drop your socials, all that stuff. Okay, so we did not. Thank you for <laughs> <laughs> thank you for letting us know. So, how can people contact you for more information on Coquito? So you can, if you want more information of, uh, for Coquito, I have Coquito for sale too, which is a special family recipe. You can um, send me a text through um, a text message or through WhatsApp. Uh, it's my phone number is seven eight seven. 923-0321. Everybody calls me uh, Desi, so um, can ask for De Desiree Desi. Again, 787-923-0321, and I can give you more information of Coquito if you want to buy some bottles to give for your family, or if you want one to get ready for, uh, for Thanksgiving, just uh, give me a call. 
or send me a message and I'll be glad to um to get those. Stories and what those about stories. like through Facebook if they if they want yes. to direct message you? Through through Facebook, you can find me um as Ceci Velasquez. Um on when the when we finish the, the live, I'm gonna put my information in the chat so you can find my profile. That sounds amazing. Thank you again so much. Um, we truly appreciate it. We want everyone at home to please be safe, stay healthy. Um, and overall, Puerto Rico Distillery family wants to um, wish you a happy holidays. And um, for Thanksgiving, just um, please be safe and curbside pickup. Why not? With Puerto Rico Distillery. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. 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 Bye.